today is February 19. How dangerous was the coronavirus outbreak aboard the Diamond Princess in February? A new study modeling the onboard epidemic reaches some sobering conclusions. It started with a single passenger and quickly ballooned to a rate of infection four times that of Wuhan, China. Left unchecked, the study suggests the disease would have eventually touched 79% of those on board, some 2,900 people. However, researchers also say that if everyone had been evacuated from the vessel when the first cases were discovered, the outbreak could have been contained to just 2% or 76 people. More than 600 people did get sick and seven have died. The study concludes the key factor was the ship itself. A floating petri dish where people from all over the world spend weeks in tight quarters, putting their trust in the cleaning staff and everyone else's hand hygiene. I would probably not advise anybody to go on a cruise for the foreseeable future until the situation settles down. Yet the cruise industry says that it's safe, that they're uh, initiating a bunch of new safeguards to make sure that everyone on board is healthy. I mean, that's a mixed message. Who should people believe at this point? Given what we've already seen in the last few weeks, I think that it's a very difficult standard to meet. Some experts say the coronavirus crisis points to a need to reimagine the spaces where we work play and travel, such as using materials that can better withstand vigorous cleaning. If I told you that your cruise ship was going to have a vinyl headboard, you might not think that sounds really luxurious, but I assure you there are properties that we can put into vinyl now that allow it to be both comfortable, luxurious, and safe. The cruise industry is trying to weather the storm, making it easier to cancel and rebook while slashing prices. The question is, what will win out with consumers? the lure of a bargain vacation, or warnings from public health officials. Jonathan Gatehouse, CBC News, Toronto.